Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and welcome to the Book of Numbers. Firstly, I would like to apologise for the many errors you are about to hear in my pronunciation of names. Hebrew is not a language that I am too familiar with, so I hope you will understand that as we progress through this book. I read the Bible because I believe every Christian who says they stand by what the Bible teaches should know what is written in it. I record this show so that there is an element of accountability should I ever fail in reading the Bible daily during this attempt. It's Numbers chapter 1 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 1 Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, by their families and by their fathers' houses, according to the number of their names, every male one by one, from twenty years old and upward, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall count them by their divisions. With you there shall be a man of every tribe, everyone head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who will stand with you. Of Reuben, Eliezer, the son of Sidah, of Simeon, Simeon, the son of Zohazad, of Judah, Nashan, the son of Amidab, of Eshekar, Nathaniel, the son of Zohar, of Zebulon, Elihab, the son of Elon, the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elisham, the son of Hamhad, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Bedehazur, of Benjamin, Abidan, the son of Gideon, of Dan, Ahazer, the son of Amrashad, of Asher, Pegel, the son of Akron, of Gad, Elisaph, the son of Joel, of Nebatali, Ahera, the son of Ian. These are those who are called of the congregation, the princes of the tribes of their fathers. They were the heads of the thousands of Israels. Moses and Aaron took these men who were mentioned by name. They assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their ancestry by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, one by one. As Yahweh commanded Moses, so he counted them in the wilderness of Sinai. The children of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of their names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war. Those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were forty-six thousand five hundred. The children of Simeon, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, those who were counted of it, According to the number of their names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty nine thousand three hundred. Of the children of God, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of their names, twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of God, were forty five Five thousand six hundred and fifty. Of the children of Judah, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Judah, were seventy four thousand six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, the tribe of Issachar, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. Of the children of Zebulon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, the tribe of Zebulon, were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, of the children of Ephraim, 
their generations by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,500. Of the children of Manasseh, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Manasseh, were 32,200. Of the children of Benjamin, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Benjamin, were 35,400. Of the children of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, the tribe of Dan, were 62,700. Of the children of Asher, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Asher, were 41,500. Of the children of Nebatali, their generations, by their families, by their father's houses, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, were the tribe of Nebatali, with 53,400. These are those who were counted, whom Moses and Aaron counted, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men, they were each for his father's house. So all those who were counted of the children of Israel by their father's houses, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war in Israel, even all those who were counted were six hundred fifty-three thousand five hundred fifty. But the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not counted among them. For Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Only the tribe of Levi you shall not count. Neither shall you take a census of them among the children of Israel. But appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all its furnishings, and over all that belongs to it. They shall carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings, and they shall take care of it, and shall encamp around it. When the tabernacle is to move, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, according to their divisions. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be responsible for the tabernacle of their testimony. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they did. Music